Welcome back to A to Z here on Locked On Sports Atlanta, free on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. Search Locked On Sports Atlanta. Again, on Twitter at Locked On ATL. I'm at Mark Zeno, M A R K Z I N O. Don't forget, we're on Roku TV now. You got an Amazon Fire Stick? Click on that Roku TV app and you'll see this every single day if you choose to watch, which you should because it's a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to that YouTube channel as well. But Roku TV is also a great place to get Locked On Sports Atlanta every single day check out all the shows on the locked on atl network a to z that's this one hitting hard with john chuckery atl day ones jarvis davis Denise batiste as well braves postcast locked on falcons locked on hawks and oh by the way nba training camp coming up so get ready locked on hawks fans because we're coming for you okay um georgia uh, improved to 3-0 last week they're going to take on cupcake kent state this week uh at sanford stadium uh and they're going to get rolled uh so there's that. They're they're not going to lose to Kent State. Uh, they are not a And M. So beyond all that, um, Seth Emerson, who covers Georgia as good as anybody uh, for the Athletic, has uh, wrote a column today about sacks, right? Quarterback sacks. Uh, Georgia through three games so far has um, one, just just one, one little sack, and that's it. Uh, and it's not impressive. That said, the contention that Seth Emerson makes, and he even quotes Kirby Smart for making the same contention, um, that sacks, quote, not part of the game. That's not the game anymore, said Kirby Smart. The game is not to sit back there and have a guy be a sitting target. Well, again, it's more of a passing game now than ever before. More quarterbacks have running ability. Offenses are calling more quick passes to get rid of the ball quickly. And defenses are combating the spread by using more defensive backs, which usually means taking a linebacker out and putting, or at least, you know, dropping a linebacker into coverage. It means it's one less guy rushing. So there's that. Uh, and Emerson put some numbers out there. The number of passes in college football up during the last few years. But um, the sack rate and pressure rate on QBs have remained static with both down a little bit this year. Uh, well, the average time a quarterback has taken the ball, taken to throw the ball, and the average ball yards that the ball's traveled in the air have both ticked down as well. So, again, for example, in 2019, the drop pack percentage 52 percent, the pressure percentage is 31.6, uh, the sack percent is 6.3, 2.8 seconds to throw, nine nine yards in the air. Two years later, 2021, the full season that ended, the drop pack percentage 52.5 percent, a half percent difference. Pressure percent, 31.4 as compared to 31.6 two years ago. Sack percent, 6.3 to 6.6. Seconds to throw, 2.8 to 2.7. Uh, yards in the air, both equally nine. I, I give you all this, this information here in a very quick and scattered manner um, because I, I disagree with the contention overall that sacks are not part of the game anymore, or as Kirby Smart said, that's not the game anymore. Yeah, it is. It, it absolutely still is. And yes, I mean, obviously, it's better to sack a quarterback than not. But overall, quarterback pressures and making a quarterback um, uncomfortable is a big part of the game. Um, and and the difference between college and the NFL, I think, is paramount here when you look at sacks. Because I've been over this before in the show. And Warren Sharp, who does, uh, you know, at Sharp Football on Twitter... It does an amazing analysis of what happens on a drive when an offense takes a sack versus when they don't. The touchdown percentage when they when they have a sack versus when they don't. Like it is devastating in the NFL to get sacked. It literally changes the scope of games. That's why it's so important. In college, it's not as important, especially now, especially especially now at this point in the season where you're not really playing any opponents of worth, and that's the big picture here. The big picture here is that when you are playing somebody who is inferior to you and the talent level is that few, <laughs> did I get that right? The, the lesser talented team, yeah, you don't have to necessarily bring the quarterback down to win because you, would, you, you outdo them in so many other areas. Like that really is the problem. And, and you have to kind of figure out exactly what, uh, exactly what, you know, uh, uh, these teams do and, and do well and try to take it away because you can do that. Like it, it's, it's easier when you have a, a talent advantage. 
I want to give you guys a frame of reference here because I think it's super, super important um, to illustrate what I'm talking about. I'm going to do that in a second. I want first a word from our friends at Coffee AM, coffeeam.com. Guys, freshest coffee out there. Why? It's roasted and shipped on the same day or close to it, and it'll arrive right at your front door, and the box will smell amazing. But my everyday routine of taking my, my K-cup, my Keurig maker, and dropping a Coffee AM in it, and I get this coffee from around the world, whether it's Sumatra, Kenya, Costa Rica, Tanzania, places you haven't heard of, it's just, it starts my day the right way. And you should do the same thing because Coffee AM is delicious. And all the flavors are great. Try them all out. Check them all out online at coffeeam.com backslash locked on. You'll see the full menu of coffees, teas, and gift sets. And it's a great way to tell somebody you love them, right? Send them out some coffee. Who doesn't love a little cup of joe? But again, coffeeam.com backslash locked on. Use the coupon code locked on at checkout to get 15% off your first order. Coffees, teas, and gift sets. Coffee AM, best small batch coffee roaster in America. I'd like to bring a couple of games to your attention where I think Seth Emerson is wildly off, and so is Kirby Smart. Um, let's go back to the very first game last year, Georgia versus Clemson. Clemson scored three points. You know how many sacks Georgia had in that game against DJ Uyagalele? Seven. Seven. Yeah, that, that probably had something to do with the fact that he was 19 of 37 for an interception, right? Like That had something to do with it. Go back to the SEC championship game. You know how many times Stetson Bennett was sacked in the SEC championship game? Four. Two picks. Right? Yeah. Go back to the national title game. You know how many times Bryce Young was sacked? Three. Two picks. I, I it doesn't it doesn't matter if you don't sack anybody from Samford. They can't compete with you. But when you play these high-level games against these high-level opponents, don't sit there and tell me that you don't need to get sacks. You absolutely do. Because what happens? The quarterback at Samford isn't as good as the quarterback at Clemson or at Alabama. Do you think the outcome of those games might have been different? If Bryce Young hadn't gotten sacked in the national title game, do you think that game goes the exact same way? Because I don't. At all. I just, it, it didn't happen. It doesn't happen that way. If he has time to throw back there, the game goes dramatically differently. Bringing a quarterback down on a routine basis will affect what they do in the pocket, out of the pocket, and their decision-making. Yes, you can do that with QB pressures as well, but let's not kid ourselves here. The best quarterbacks in college football aren't necessarily thrown off by that. If they are thrown off by it, guess what they're not? One of the best quarterbacks in college football. Just is what it is. Stetson Bennett didn't take a lot of sacks last year. It made it very easy and very comfortable for him to play football free and relaxed because he never got touched. It's a big part of it. So, well, again, it doesn't matter against Samford. It didn't even matter against South Carolina because they just don't have the horses in the barn to compete with you. It's not going to matter against Kent State. It'll matter in the Kentucky game against Will Levis. It'll matter in the Tennessee game against Hendon Hooker. Yeah, damn, more, damn, skippy it will. Heck, it's definitively going to matter against Florida. Anthony Richardson's a little pitter-patter, you know, he's scared, scared cat. Because he got banged around last week by Kentucky. So those kind of things matter. I, I disagree with the contention. I think it's different in college because the talent disparity between the teams you play every week sometimes is so big, you don't have to be great on any given week in any given category to be able to win a football game. Kind of just show up and you're automatically better. All right, coming up next, uh, nobody saw this coming through the first two weeks of the NFL and what the numbers say of who's already eliminated from the NFL playoffs. That's next right here on A to Z on Locked On Sports Atlanta, free on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast search, Locked On Sports Atlanta.